So I want to go over a few different things that have happened in the past few days for the Packers. First off, as the Packers have lost Chris Barnes, he signed a one-year contract with the Arizona Cardinals. The Packers also re-signed linebacker Eric Wilson. And I think looking at these two moves, they do sort of relate to each other in some fashion. So when we look at the Packers linebacker core, last year coming in round one, deciding to draft Quay Walker, it sort of pushed Chris Barnes out of that role that he had sort of been in for a couple seasons in 2020 and 2021. And if I throw up his stats here from PFF in his three years in Green Bay, came in first year as an undrafted free agent, 421 snaps, not the best grade. He had some good moments, but not very consistent. 2021, 526 snaps. And then last season, 2022, you can see his snaps drop down to 141. And now because, of course, we have Devondre Campbell bringing him back and having him, you know, last year with Quay Walker, it really pushed Chris Barnes out of that, you know, starting role. And he didn't really have a, a big role at all on defense. And then you also look at the special team snaps. He only had 25 special team snaps, zero tackles, a 29.7 grade. And then if you compare his special team's ability to linebacker Eric Wilson, who the Packers just decided to bring back on a one-year deal, Last year, Eric Wilson came into Green Bay, had 195 special team snaps, way more than Chris Barnes, 10 tackles, and a 91.7 special teams grade. So it seems to me like because Chris Barnes, you know, didn't really have a big role on defense, he wasn't getting it done on special teams. So the Packers decided to stick with a guy who um, was getting it done on special teams in Eric Wilson, letting Chris Barnes go, which is honestly sad. I really thought that when he came in initially, the first couple of games, I thought maybe he could be the Packers' answer at linebacker. Um, but it didn't really turn out that way. He had lots of good moments. He's a huge hitter, plays hard. Um, there's some hits in, in during games where you're like, wow, Chris Barnes just you know flies in there uh, against the run. But he's just not super consistent, doesn't get it done all the time. And so it's sad to see him go, but the Packers seem to um, be confident in, obviously, Devondre Campbell and Quay Walker as starters. But then you look at you know linebacker three and four, Eric Wilson, who is now back great on special teams last year. And then if you look at Packers' sixth-round 2021 pick, linebacker, um, Isaiah McDuffie, last year he had 261 snaps on special teams, 10 tackles, and an 88.5 grade. So when you have two other linebackers outside of your two starters, really consistent, probably two of the best special teamers on this Packers team last season, there just wasn't really a spot anymore for Chris Barnes. So sad to see him go, but um, wish him nothing but the best in Arizona. Cool to see Eric Wilson back as well, but that is the you know little update I have this morning.